All right, Paris, we are next scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's middleweight division. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this well-traveled talent trained in Muay Thai and kickboxing brings a professional record of 19 wins with nine losses, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, 11 inches tall, 1.82 meters, he weighed in at 187.4 pounds and even 85 kilos. He fights tonight out of Hamburg, Germany. He is Florian Kruger. His opponent now fighting out of the white corner, a two-time European champion. His record stands at 32 wins with just six losses. Seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at a ready 187 pounds, 84.8 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Elis Hamushi. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Edward Stryker. Kickboxing's toughest referee, who took a right hand from Antonio Plaza a and couple of minutes ago. Check it, the last guy you want to get hit by. I think they forgot his mouthpiece, Joe. Excited to come out. Now type. Yeah. No, they need some tape for something. You want to add some commentary to this, Joe? <laughs> what am I going to I don't even know what they're doing. I think, I don't know, it looks like they're taping the shorts. Very strange. No, the the only thing maybe I can think of is I'm thinking black shorts and maybe a way to. Yeah. Change the shirt. Change the, the bench. Maybe the shorts are too long. Maybe there's a, a refinement of height. The shorts are too long. That is, I've seen guys wear pants. So how can the, the shorts the tights, be too long? Maybe. maybe well, I can see have... why they're annoying because sometimes your foot can get caught in the shorts. Well, I'm or... thinking maybe because the shorts have pockets. Do you see pockets? Ah, on the shorts? yes. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Yeah, and definitely not allowed pockets. Yeah, you can't have pockets on shorts. I'm pretty sure. We'll talk about a buzz kill. We were rolling right along, huh? <laughs> That's it. No type. I almost feel bad for Kroger, sitting there waiting all hype God, at his warm up. I'd rather be Kroger than Hamushi, who's got to change an entire outlook, outfit. He's leaving the ring to change. And Joe, of course, he can't put on his own shorts because he's wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> I guess they're going to kind of cover him in the corner to switch him. Well, this isn't quite as embarrassing as having to strip naked to make weight. I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah. They hold a towel up. Nevertheless, the crowd being very patient. I thought he was just going to box in his underwear. That's what I would have done. <laughs> I'm here fanning myself. That's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, but you're not on camera doing it. <laughs> So Ilias Hamushi makes his glory debut, and before the bell rings, is already facing adversity. It's the first time we've seen this. <laughs> Hasn't fought in two years either. They got to kind of get him back in the zone, man. He's, yeah, refocus him. Yeah. Okay, fighters, listen. By the three rounds of three minutes, listen to my commands and protect yourself at all times. Any questions? No questions, touch gloves if you want. 
Back to your corner. All right, Ilya Samushi taking on Florian Kroger. Kroger has had one glory fight. He lost a decision to Michael Boapea, no shame in that. But he said he only had a couple weeks notice. Punch. This time he's good to go. The German in the black gloves, the Moroccan in the white. Yeah, Hamushi's gonna come up with big power combinations. Good left kicks, level changes, but watch Kroger's kicking game. Ooh, look at his power, like in good start. He's coming out hot like our first Moroccan fighter, but that didn't spell success in that case. Hamushi's left hook comes fast. He Pretty trains with SB Gym, so you're gonna see the combination style of SB Gym, which means combinations up and down. But look at Kroger kind of taking a lot of a lot of this damage. Maybe he's gonna turn it on at the end of the round. Yeah, if I'm Kroger, I'm staying technical, letting Hamushi come out, waste some energy, and just keep chopping away those legs and keeping my head defense tight. Right now I think Kroger's doing the right thing. Settle in a little bit. But Hamushi's got some good power. Look at those quick left hook counters and attacks the body, goes back upstairs. What's Hamushi going to look like in the third round? That's the question. He's got so yep. much adrenaline running through his body. First fight in over two years. The crowd's behind him. Kroger's doing a good job at blocking low right. kicks where Hamushi's eating them. Fight. Kroger needs to be careful of that left hook. Stay, keep his right hand tight. See, it comes quick. Hamushi loves that counter left hook. Hamush letting his hands go, and he's throwing that right to the body. And when I see that rear straight from Hamushi land, Kroger's head pops up a little bit. He needs to be careful for a right cross left hook combination from Hamushi. That was not ruled a knockdown. So I held the leg down, pushed him down. But it's been a great opening round Ooh. for Hamushi. Yeah, Hamushi comes hard with his combos. Yeah, he's, he's all in when he commits. Taking no prisoners in this first round. But I'm telling you, Kroger's got plenty of juice left if Hamushi can't keep up this Ooh. pace. Break! Stay back! I would imagine the German Fight. military push, push you pretty <laughs> hard in training. Made you pretty tough. Yeah, if durable. If you hold an action, let go. Fight! Good punch combination. Now Kroger's opening up with his hands. Kroger using that movement. Back to those front kicks. But Hamushi's left hook counter comes so fast. Good body kick for Hamushi. Fast, Break. too. And his first round back is a very good one. Here we jump into our replay from the first round, and Joe, it's all Hamushi. Yeah, it's very aggressive, good combinations, just very powerful and quick counters. But the most impressive thing is the way he's mixing levels, attacking the body with his kicks and his punches. That's what opens up the head. Come guys. Come on. Round two. Fight! All right, round two. What's your bet? Do you think Hamushi can continue this pace? Hamushi coming forward. Do you think he can continue this pace? Uh, I mean, he's going to have to show it, but I think it's going to be difficult for anyone to keep that type of power, at least. He might have the, the forward combinations, but does he have the power is the question. Not to mention, it is boiling in this arena. Yeah, that's another thing for these fighters. They're heating up quick. Yeah. Nice combinations there from Mushi. He's not throwing one shot at a time. 
Yeah, and he's mixing up his uppercuts now. Big shots. Kroger needs to open up a little bit. Amushi has some crazy pressure. Amushi does a lot of his sparring with Donaghy Abena. That's a pretty good sparring partner. <laughs> I mean, that whole crew at SB Gym is just amazing. Coach Saeed has the, the boys really working hard and developing well. Kroger said he's going for the knockout in this fight. He's been working, Joe, on sitting down on punches. That's why I still think maybe in round three, he might have something waiting for Hamushi. Yeah, he needs to kind of sneak a quick head kick in. He threw the head kick a little bit in that first round, but he needs to keep maybe boxing and then fly a head kick up or start using his kicks with his hands. Spinning attack, and he eats a left hook for his troubles. Now for Kroger, what I'm seeing now is either single kicks or just boxing. He needs to put them together. Well, I've been very impressed with Hamushi so far. I love those quick counters. I think that's the most impressive thing. Hamushi said, the one thing I have to be careful of is I cannot lack focus. Not for one second. I've got to stay dialed in. I can't make a mistake. So far, it's been almost the perfect fight. Yeah, attacking well. Moving, good combinations, good power. Great start for Oh, you Ooh. can see Kroger now starting to get some confidence. Ray, stand back. When Hamushi's not attacking, that gives Kroger a chance to go on the front foot. Yep, there's the axe kicks. Ooh. Oh, and that was a good one right on the belt line. Edward Stryker, the referee, gave him the look like, hey, he got you fair and square. The counters are from Hamushi are a little bit slower now. There's a little less power, which is very understandable. Let's see, maybe he takes this little bit off and then recovers, but there's not as enough, not that snap that he had in that first round. I think Hamushi has to win the last 10 seconds of this round. He's got to win this round because the third's gonna be tough go for him. Deep breath for him there. You got to understand, too, though, even for Kroger, who's taking the shots, that takes a lot of energy because you're getting hit, you're getting wobbled, you're breathing. That takes the gas tank out, too. Want to give a special thanks to our partner, Fairtex. Visit Fairtex.com for all your fight gear needs. There's Petch, one of their spokespeople. I guess he doesn't speak. He's a, what would you call him? He's more of a... Ambassador? Ambassador, there you go. We'll see him in the main event October 7th in Bulgaria. Joe, how excited are you to go to that country for the yeah, first time? Yeah, it's our time? first time. I'm very excited to go. I've never been. It was always on my list to go, but to go there for kickboxing just makes yeah. it even better. It's Stoyan Koplovinsky, of course, in the co-main oh, yeah. event, our Bulgarian. He was uh, on the forefront of getting this deal done to get glory there, so... Can't wait to see what he has in store for us as we prepare for round three, thanks to our glory girls. Protection. Well, Joe, I've been talking nonstop about how I think this guy might gas out in the third. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> and Kroger's gonna come on strong. If it happens, I'm a genius. If not, I'll blame it on the heat. There you go. Fight. That's my excuse today. All right, here we go. It'll be interesting to see the judges' scores there in round two. Oh, split. But Kroger only gets two of those votes, Joe, so he's got to win this third. Yep. He needs to start picking it up, put things together. There's yeah. a nice little uppercut. I think he might even need a knockdown here. Yeah, one shot's just not enough. He needs to start putting it together a little bit more. There you nice go. Head kick. Yeah, that's what I was kind of asking from Kroger in that first, the second round in the first. Just punch the kicks, sneak the head kick. Nice whipping kick still, though, from Hamushi. Yeah, he's doing good damage. You see Kroger's lead leg is bruised in red. Oh, big right hand there for Hamushi. Haven't seen that one before. Yeah, he's been so dominant with that left hook. He mixed it up with that right hand. Two years out of the ring for Hamushi. Glory debut. Nice uppercut there from Kroger. Got out of the way before he could get a receipt. And I think Kroger, oh, that's what I was gonna say. He doesn't have that snap. He's gotta come back. That left hook slowed him down. But 
I mean, Hamushi is tired, but he's still throwing. He's still being the more active. He's still pressuring. Ray, fight. He might not have the power, but the output's still there. Ooh, I knew ahead with I knew something like that was coming. Oh! Hey, don't do that, that. Protect yourself. Fight. Whoa. Protect yourself at all times. I don't know what yeah. he was doing. He was fixing his ankle guard. He's lucky Kroger didn't throw a head kick at that time. He'd be sleeping right now. We know Myrtle Grunhart would have given him one. Remember the last time he oh, fought yeah. here in Paris? Yeah, that's it. Go type that in on YouTube. <laughs> Wild. Oh, sneak. Stand up. And down he goes. He might have an injured ankle, on, Joe. Stand up quick. Yeah, he looked like it. Maybe uh -oh. that's why he was. Fight. Boy, if, with if, all those kicks. If I'm Kroger, I'm just throwing leg kicks like they're going out of business and calf Ooh. kicks. That up and down combination from Hamushi. Look at that. But look how he's planting his feet, Joe. He's almost like not wanting to move now. Let's see if he'll throw any kicks even. He's just pushing him away. And he's almost walking forward. The crowd oh. is just trying to will him on here this last 20 seconds. They sense danger is near. A knockdown from Kroger would probably win him the fight. Joey's not going to the leg that's hurt. What is he thinking here? I don't know. He's just deciding to punch back. I mean, maybe he's tired himself, but he should be whipping those kicks. Brains and that will do it. Hamushi makes it to the finish line. Jeez. A lot of output there from Hamushi. The decision from Paris is next. Let's jump into our highlights from this second fight of the night. And Joe, it was almost as good as the first. Yeah, I mean, Hamushi was just incredible with his combination, his pressure, his power, the way he makes levels with his combinations. Just very impressive. In the beginning of this round here, the first one here, it was Kroger really trying to defend, use his low kicks. But it was those quick counters and those left hooks of Hamushi. Kroger found that right hand a few times. But it just felt like the activity of Hamushi was just too much for Kroger to even open up, trying to mix in spectacular offense as well. In that third round, we, were, we saw Kroger open up with the boxing a little bit more, start to put his punch-to-kick combinations together. But Hamushi may have been tired, may have lost a little bit of power in his strikes, but no difference. Kept coming forward and kept that same kind of output coming forward, mixing his levels, and just a great performance after some time off from the ring. Here are the strike count statistics from that one. And round one, he came out like a house of fire. Well, that's but We're going to get to the rounds in just a minute. Punches, kicks, knees. You see the stats there. Hamushi big on those punches, most of them the left hook. Now strikes per minute. House of fire in round one. I wasn't lying. Second and third rounds, though, to Kroger. Let's see how the judges saw that third round. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. Three of our judges scored about 29, 28. The two remaining judges see it 30, 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Elias Hamushi. I'm here with your winner, Hamushi. You gotta be happy. It's been a couple years off to come back to a, an audience like this here for you. Yeah. I'm very happy. I won this fight. After three, uh, three years, I don't fight and I make now a debut on Glory, the biggest play organization from the whole world. And I'm very happy that Robbie Glory give me the chance. I want to thank all Morocco. I'm, I think all supports here for Morocco. Allah Akbar. And this fight is not only for me or support, it's also for Morocco. Because they fight for families, homes, and this win is for Morocco. And wait, wait, I want to say support Morocco. Help Morocco and give duas for Morocco. Really. 
Yes, I want to take side with Dawi, my trainer. Haki, my brother, the biggest support. And Ines Anachi, the legend. And I want to take my wife, my sisters, and the number one of this world, really, my mother. Yimea, shukram zev. Sumhayatas. Mazikhan. Hush. All right, let's hear it. Ilias Hamushi.